Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Thursday night members event session. Um, today we are back at Team Sport North London. Um, uh, this is a GP2 on this night, so uh, jumping straight into it. This members event was a bit of a shambles. I'm really not going to lie to you guys. Um, a lot happened with confusion with the format, confusion with the staff members. So I'm going to explain it for a bit now and then I'll shut up and let you watch my fastest lap in practice. So what actually happened was, um, this format is supposed to be a 10 minute, uh, 10 minute practice, 10, 15 minute qualifying and a 30 minute race. So I um, was told, everyone else was told that we were supposed to pit at least once on this night. So it could either be your practice, your qualifying, your mem your what is it, your your 30 minute race. It doesn't matter. You just have to pit at least once in the race, not in the race. Sorry, because I need to get my words out. Um, at least once in the night. So I, after practice, um, decided to uh, talk to the uh, to talk to a different staff member about the format, and he told me to pit in every single session. I was like, okay, I'll do that. But online it says you're supposed to pit in the race only. So I don't pit in this in this practice session because of course some confusion with the format of course, but then after double check, I pit in the qualifying and the race. So I practically did a last the first challenge. So this is gonna be a very, very entertaining race for you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet and let you watch this lap. So this lap here was a 36.8. Um, I was the only person in the 36s in practice. Uh, I was the person second to their 37 flat. Now this part here was uh, me turning on my GoPro, uh, saying hi to each other, um, wishing uh, good luck for, for qualifying. Now, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna go, no, I don't skip this part because there's a confusion, as I said earlier. I um, decided to, well, pit in this session. As I was told, I had to pit in every single session, so I was like, okay, I'll do it. So, um, at this part, I'm gonna start pushing under yellows. I don't usually do that. I usually do slow down and listen to the rules. I don't understand why people don't. I don't, I don't understand why people do, uh, don't listen to the rules, but it's whatever, it's not my decision. But um, yeah, so I start pushing the yellows until I catch up to someone, so I have to slow down because, of course, no other taking of the yellows. But um, I was only pushing so I could get my pit stop over and done with, and I'll still have more time uh, for laps. So here, Adele tries to let me through so he can follow my lines, but I had to pull into the pit lane to do my pit stop. So me and Max Rothram pull in uh, at the same time. And I had a bit of confusion here, but yeah, he counted me down to leave the pit lane, so yeah, I just left. But now it's going to be my qualifying lap. Now, yes, I am pushing under yellows, but you do rarely see me do that, but look how close that qualifying is. 3,000th of a P1, that is actually crazy. But um, yeah, now on to the start of the race. Um, sort of a poor launch from me, don't understand why I had that, but Cart just decided not to accelerate off the line. But you see how big Max's gap is here now. 
in my mind I'm like okay let's just push but I was told that if I don't make the pit stop I will get black flagged and taken out of the race so I said to myself just don't risk it just go into the pit lane and I will undercut people that did not happen um, as you can see me waving here he didn't expect me to actually pit he goes to ask me what's wrong and then I just get let out of the pit lane so now I'm lost and I have a humongous gap to close the B1 so let's see what I can do so here I'm just pushing to see if I can catch up and I'm not sure if you can hear but under my helmet I am shouting to myself I have messed up this strategy entirely no one is gonna pit and I knew it so this was the comeback drive of the century that's about to happen um, probably one of the best drives you're ever gonna see from me I'm not gonna lie so caught up to the guy in the fluorescent yellow helmet caught up to him fairly quickly because they are battling but here is a sort of mixed, um, mixed like opinion move here because I was told that this was a fairly aggressive move but I don't actually see what's wrong with it here as I overtook the guy who did the yellow helmet, overtook that guy because he went a bit wide and then I just sent it on the inside of part 21. I was told I was a bit aggressive with that move but I seriously do not see a problem with that so uh, yeah skipping the footage now I um, I want to say hi to Matthew uh, standing there giving me a thumbs up and I, oh, I skipped the footage again because um, what is it? I was probably doing a couple laps on my own I did, I did edit this quite a while back which is why I'm a bit foggy but uh, this is Adele here now he had a very very poor car and um, I told him after this race get a good car you do a good lap time and he did the week after but oh my I sent quite a bit of a, uh, quite a huge send down the inside there I'm not gonna lie I think that was a mixed move I don't think I should have made that but um, here I start to work with uh, Ranveer Jill to try and get past him because um, you see here he's having a bit of struggle with uh, his car it's a bit down on straight line speed so I'm trying to bump him through the gaps but here um, he gets the gap closed on him and Louis tries sending it back down the inside and he well yeah he manages it uh, on me but not on Ranveer so that's the key part of it because I'm still trying to work with Ranveer here because I know he has more pace in him uh, more pace than these lads as you can see he's caught up but uh, Louis goes for a big big send down the inside and um, yeah Ranvi just goes back down the inside because well it, um, he gets better speed through there because he takes a tighter line but you can see here his car just lacks so much straight line speed and I think I should have pulled off to the side here to try and overtake him but I said to myself no just work with him bump him down the straight and um, we'll close on to these guys but it doesn't actually work too well um, as I was losing quite a bit of time to Max up in front uh, Max Mosheram the, the reason why I keep saying Max's full name is because there's two different Maxes in this race uh, MP Karting I will tag him uh, down below in the description and of course Max Mosheram who is P1 um, so here I kind of get bored of trying to work with him because it just won't work so I just send it down the inside. I know that seemed a little bit aggressive but I don't think there was anything wrong with that move. So now I am pushing to try and catch up to Louis and I think that's even in front, I don't actually know. But these lads I think had quite a bit of a battle so I capitalise on it and I think I overtake them on the same lap, I don't actually know. So here I try a small switchback, it just doesn't work. Um, Steven goes really wide, Louis goes down his inside, I go back down the inside of Steven because he goes a bit wide and I just send it down the inside. This car gives me so much confidence because I've got, because uh, this just suits me so well. I'm not sure if you remember but I uploaded a video a couple of weeks back saying this car really suited me. Uh, so I carried that confidence in from that Monday night and of course to the Thursday and then I produced the 36-1 and of course those overtakes. So now I've got up to MP Karting, Max, uh, yeah Max. Um, I try going down the inside there, it doesn't work because of course he closes that gap. I, I, he had the full right to close that. So 
So now pull off a little switch back um, and I pull off another double switch back. Love pulling those moves. Um, I'm gonna play it back for you now uh, from Max's POV. So you can see me by side and then by side again. And signal to work uh, together and then, well, yeah, we work together. So now you can see the guy is chasing down. I try, when I overtake him, I try to slow him down a bit for Max, but I don't think it worked. Um, if you want to see his perspective, I will link his channel down below, as I said earlier, and you can look back on the video. So you can see here, I catch up to him quite a bit as I'm trying to slow down. Um, I go for this move here. I believe that was perfectly fine. I don't actually know if he was too happy with that move or not, but whatever we move. Uh, skip the video back. I come up to my first back marker of the night. So he goes a little bit wide, uh, tries to let me through, but then yeah, lets me through here again. So I'm gonna skip the footage forward again as I catch up to. I don't know who these people are. I'm not sure if they're back markers or not. I don't. I'm not actually clear on that, but I am overtaking them. And I forgot to tell you earlier, I went up to P4 from last. So I think that's a decent performance. I got the fastest lap of the race by 110. Um, so yeah, fairly happy with my performance on this night. I am chasing down 35s the BIKC. But oh wow, well, he goes a little bit wide. I think it was to let me through, I don't know, but back to what I was talking about. I am aiming for 35, oh no, maybe not. 36-1 for us to lap of the race. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep talking over uh, what I was saying. So I am aiming for 35s this year in the BIKC uh, locals, uh, what is it, qualifying. So I've got a 35 already, um, but they won't be counted towards the actual qualifying standings as oil was leaked on the track by um, by Nia uh, in cart 7 she leaked a, few, a full tank oh speaking of cart 7 right behind him here but yeah uh, cart 7 leaked a full tank of fuel which meant we were doing low 35s to 34s on that night I will link the video at the top right here of the night um, yeah so those lap times won't count at all, which isn't ideal as I was aiming for that race to be my fastest, uh, what is it, fastest night for my qualifying, but he, he just gets spun around there. Um, I don't really know what happened there, but he does get himself turned around, so no flags will be waved here. But yeah, so I am, of course, as I said before, aiming for the 35s. I've got one last shot, which will come up on the 24th. So um, that video will probably come out sometime in September as I am going away on holiday on the 25th. So I'm trying to get as many videos out uh, for you guys as possible just before I go on holiday. And um, my videos will keep growing whilst I'm away. I'm only away for a week, but yeah, still just get all the videos out so I can come back clean. But um, Adele here, as I said before earlier in the video, if you remember me saying, he had a really poor cart on this evening. Um, he had cart 22 the week after, and wow, he was quick. Um, before the oil came out on track, he was he was gapping me at some. Well, he wasn't gapping me. We were equal for quite a bit. But then once I got my head down, I did start to catch up. But still, he did amazing lap times for his second members event. So, well, props to you, mate. Well done. But uh, caught up to back markers again. Um, I try and have a switch back on him, as I did earlier in the video, but just of course didn't pull it off. Uh, go down his inside here, because he leaves the gap wide open. But this music here can only mean one thing. Some Brexit moves go on with these two in front. Uh, Stephen and Layla going at it here. As you can see, I'm going to sit back because I want to watch what happens here. I don't really care about my position at this point because I am sitting in fifth, but Layla's fourth, but I know I'm going to catch her. So I just sit behind to see what goes on. Oh my, the amount of scrapping that happens after I pass them. Even whilst I'm behind them, they fight hard. Like, as you watch here, he pulls away from me a bit. But watch what goes on here. Wow, what a scent. My lord. 
Jesus, and I just pull off a Swiss back and shake my head because I'm just baffled on what he was doing. Because the red flag comes out here because I think Stephen and Layla crashed, and um, I tell Parsa to stop because, like, stop creeping forward under reds, mate, please, if you're watching this. But um, skip it forward here, and uh, this is where they start to catch up here. Uh, Louis. I think he got caught up in a battle, not exactly a battle, but you know what I mean, they, they had a big scrap and he probably got caught up in it, put in a wall or something, but um, I think they, I think Steven and Layla both catch up here, I think that's Layla there, so I believe we're going to, do, yeah, we go green here, um, so I am chasing down the guy in the fluorescent yellow helmet, he lets me through, yeah, thank you mate. Um, I go on to push. I am going to cut the footage forward now until, well, the next dramatic incident happens behind me or in front of me, I don't know, something happens. So I'm gonna cut the footage forward now. So coming through here now, Andy C Pass has been put in a wall. I don't know what happened here. It's probably Steven and Layla battling again because these two went on it, went at it for like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes straight, because I've looked at the timing screen and both of the lap times went down at the exact same time. So, yeah, um, skip the footage forward a little bit. Um, I get ready for it to go green, and oh, well, he goes and talks to another person because he, he gets called over. At this point now, I am very, very bored, and I do indeed want to start driving. So I am putting my hands on the wheel, just trying to find ways to distract myself. And I'm feeling the warmth of the tires, but I put my hands on the tires to get that weird launch thing that I saw on YouTube. Uh, push your tires forward, and you get a better acceleration. I actually think that helped a little bit, especially as a heavyweight, where. Um, but of course, it's going to feel a, bit, uh, a little weird, but here I just slammed the wall as a lap of concentration. But moving on here now, I've caught up to another back marker, uh, chasing him down. I believe this might be the last overtake of the race, actually. Or well, sadly, of course, but um, I also hear another wall uh, from laps of, laps of concentration. But, um, it's not like me to lose concentration like that a little bit, but I was under a red for quite a while, so kind of got a little bored. He lets me through here. Thank you for that one. And I keep pushing on now. So I think I'm just going to leave the footage here as it is. Um, I will meet you back here for the outro. I am now coming across the line. That is P. No, that was last. I think it was like P14 or something to P4. That was a fairly decent run, I can't lie. Uh, got the fastest lap by one tenth. Uh, beat the person closest to me in the weight range by like three tenths. But uh, other than that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, I am Kalem or K-Karting. I'm in the